What's up, YouTube? Welcome to, I guess, will be the fourth installment of my mini bike, well, pocket bike project here. Um, it's been a while since I've been on this project. I've had some other things going on, um, i.e., what's under that tarp. Stay tuned for videos on that. Anyway, so back to the bike. Like I was saying, it's been a while since I've been on this. I've had other stuff going on. So, But as of lately, I have been working on it kind of behind the scenes i wish i would have been, uh, been making videos along the way but yeah it is what it is um so what's different from last time y'all saw this well first and foremost i got the motor done um it is completely built locked loaded uh, she's ready to fire um, it's on the frame for testing purposes i had to get an idea of what the chain was going to look like because i need to make a tensioner um but uh anyway so we'll start from the front just make it easy work our way back I uh, got the dash panel made, uh, just a piece of stainless, got the kill switch, and then the uh, tachometer. Let's see, what else? Oh, my favorite part. So I extended the swing arm, <clears throat> probably about five inches. Um, a couple different reasons. I want to try to keep the front wheel down, um, plus I think it looks better. Uh, I always thought it kind of, something about it looked different or looked funny to me, so, and then I extended the swing arm, and yeah, it turned out real nice uh, because I extended the swing arm I had to redo the rear suspension so um, I added a secondary shock in there too because there's so much leverage now um, on the back that it was just completely collapsing the uh, just one of those shocks um, and just one of those shocks is 1500 pounds so there's 3,000 pounds of pressure back here uh, so yeah hopefully it worked uh, this is all my bracing uh, I wanted to make sure it was good and strong and it brace goes down to there and it triangulates to the top of the frame made some gussets right there uh, let's see I think that's pretty much it um, I just want to touch base with you guys let you know where this thing sits uh, she's almost ready for paint uh, like I said I just got to make that chain tensioner um, I know I'm gonna have chain tension problems just because of how long the chains gonna be and where the pivot point is for the swing arm in regards to where it comes out of the jack shaft you see these two points right here so that's why I need to make a, a spring-loaded chain tensioner uh, so that'll be next on the list oh yeah what do you think of my ram air yeah I don't know I'm just playing with that we'll see I don't know if, I don't know even know if it's gonna do anything but that's how it looks in the front but anyway guys thank you so much I appreciate it. Um, if you don't know, there's two or three other videos on this. Um, I'll, link, I'll leave links in the video. So feel free to go back and check those out. Kind of follow along with what's going on leading up to this point. But um, if you liked the video, it sure helped me out if you gave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And what really helped me out is giving me a subscribe if you're new. Um, I got 73 right now. I'm trying to get to 100. That's my next goal. So if y'all could help me out, I'd certainly appreciate that. Uh, in the meantime, you guys have a great evening, and I'll see you on the next one.